It's a non-refundable $200,000 payment plus five grand a year. That's the sweet deal the Country Club of Spartanburg got out of Spartanburg District 7, which voted to pay the club to allow the district's golf teams to use their facilities. But wait a minute. Did the taxpayers who would foot the bill get a say in this? Attorney Jay Bender told us the vote was illegal under the Freedom of Information Act because the public wasn't given 24 hours notice to allow input. But the district presented its own lawyer tonight who said that action was uh, both proper and not a violation of Freedom of Information Act. It's up for debate. You decide. And many of you did. It is a pleasure to meet with those who manage and use our my tax dollars. And voiced outrage at the way this was handled. Many here say dollars are being spent on a program that would benefit few children in a time when such an investment seems frivolous. I want my dollars at work in the classroom for the teachers and for the students. There is no remorse on your part, just the usual arrogance. The choice of Laura Balknight, Chip Hurst, Thomas McMeekin, and Mr. White to use poor and unethical judgment by not abstaining from voting on this issue that is such a blatant conflict of interest can only be corrected with your resignation from this board effective immediately. Oh, and don't forget the questions of conflict of interest. Superintendent White and three school board members who voted for this are members of the private club, getting that cash donation courtesy the taxpayer. The board and the superintendent agreed to take this to the state attorney general and the South Carolina Ethics Commission to let them decide if the Freedom of Information Act was violated when taking the vote and if there was a conflict of interest. And if there was a conflict of interest, then I will accept whatever the consequences are for that. If not, not only would students enjoy a game of golf, but apparently so would they with the taxpayers footing the bill.